Do you know what happens when you don't follow orders from conceited and egotistical cops? Today we're talking about situations in which sovereign citizens tried to educate police officers, but in the end they were all arrested. Let's go. The cop decides to play traffic enforcer and pulls over this girl because her backlights are apparently turned off. He waltzes up and demands her driver's license like it's the golden ticket. Little does this cop know, this girl's got a legal encyclopedia stashed in her brain. She hits the cop with the gem that she can only dish out her license if she's committed a crime. From where she's standing, no crime is in sight. But our cop buddy doubles down, insisting her lights are on vacation. Well, officer, that's more of a ticket scenario than a full-blown crime. No need to whip out the license just yet. Our cop gets visibly frustrated. He starts laying down the law, not asking if she can hand over the license, but telling her to do it. That's your driver's license. What crime have I, suspe have I been suspected of committing? What's that? What crime have I been suspected you have of committing? No brake lights. Is that a crime, officer? Yes, give me your license. According to battle, uh, uh, people versus battle, traffic infractions are not crimes. Give me your license. Unless there's been a crime committed, officer, I am not a showing crime my has ID. Been committed, and you need to see. I need to see your driver's Where's license. the corpus delicti? I need to see your driver's license. Is I'm there an asking. injured party, sir? I'm not asking you. Is there an injured party? According to Black's Law Dictionary, a crime is only defined as there being an injured victim or injured party. Is there an injured party? Your brake lights don't work. Okay, according to People vs. Battle, traffic infractions are not crimes. Okay. If I've been suspected of a crime, then prove it. You have been committed, a, you have committed a crime. Okay, well, according to People vs. Battle Officer, traffic infractions are not crimes. Please show me where the crime is. Okay, ma'am, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to give me your license. According to People vs. Battle, there is no crime. I'm sorry? <clears throat> Where's the corpus delecti? Give me your license. Our original cop, unable to handle a lone girl with one dim backlight, decides to dial for backup. Enter the reinforcements, who, surprise, surprise, turn out to be even worse. Not only are they clueless about the fact that a single malfunctioning car light isn't a crime, but they kick it up a notch and start threatening the girl, suggesting they'll break into her car through the window. One cop positions himself on one side of the window, while his partner does the same on the opposite side. And this poor girl, who's guilty of nothing, suddenly only felt threatened. <clears throat> hey, I'm open the door. I'm not. What crime have I been suspected of committing? No break, bro. No break light. We need your, we need your uh, license. Okay. What we need to do is we need to find your license. We need your license, ma'am. I haven't been. I'm not suspected of committing a, cr a crime. Yes, and unless have. there is no crime, yes, I do not have to identify myself. Ma'am, please open the, open, please roll down your window. And let us have your license. I'm not. Fine. What crime am I uh, being suspected well, of committing? For a traffic violation of a, of a break traffic line. infractions are not crimes according to no People vs. Battle. Ma'am, please open your window. What crime am I being suspected right. of committing? Ma'am, if you don't open your window, I'm gonna break your window. What crime am I being suspected of committing? They're going. They're attempting to break my windows. Crime. Give me your license, there has man. been no crime. Even though the girl attempted to clarify that she hadn't committed any crime, the cops weren't having it. Instead, they decided to up the ante by taking a metal rod to her window. The distressed girl began to scream, but there was no reprieve in sight. The egos of these policemen were so inflated that in the end, they shattered the window and forcibly yanked this girl out of her car. And if that wasn't enough, fragments of glass from the broken window found their way into her eye. According to People vs. Battle, traffic infractions are not crimes. Please do not Man. attempt to assault me or or my door. property. Open the door so we don't have to break the Officer, window. please do not touch my property or me if there's been no crime committed. There's been no crime committed. Please do not touch my property, ma'am. There's been no crime committed. <clears throat> They're damaging the, the property, and this isn't even my property. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, I got glass in my eyes! Ah! 
What began as a routine traffic stop quickly escalated into a full-fledged debate between the cops and a sovereign citizen. Spotting some flyers in the front of the car, the cop decided to throw logic out the window and demand the man's driver's license and ID for no apparent reason. However, this guy was no pushover. Armed with knowledge of his rights, he knew he wasn't obligated to comply. Instead, he turned the tables, requesting the cop's ID, leaving them bewildered as they fumbled to realize they needed to identify themselves. It's a simple rule. As long as they're on duty and in uniform, they've got to show ID when asked, unlike regular citizens who can skip that part. Yes, sir. You're gonna pull you got no tag on your vehicle. It's not a tag. It's a flyer. I'm not operating in any regular activity. What? I'm not operating in any regulable activity or, f or for higher capacity or in commerce. Yeah, you don't have a uh, tag on the vehicle, that's the problem. <laughs> Did you read it? No, no, yeah, it says not for hire, I understand that. No, but when you're driving on the roadway, you have to have a uh, registration tag on there. No. So do you have your license on you? No, you don't have to have that. You do have to. No, because it's a, it's a, it's a commercial activity, and I'm not operating in a commercial activity. All right, yeah. You are Tell right. me you don't know that. All right, do you have your license on you? What do I need a license for? Are you refusing to, uh, no, I'm not refusing to do anything. Have I committed a crime? Uh, if you uh, have your license on, sir. Do you have an ID? Sir, do you have the license? Do you have an ID? I need you to show me some ID, a certified ID from the state. I want you to show it to me now. Are you refusing to show me your ID right now? You're required to show me an ID, and I want you to see. I want to see your ID right now. Do it. Thank you. The cop supposedly decided to fetch his ID, but had a sudden change of heart and doubled back to the man's car, demanding the driver's license once again. Not only did he pull a U-turn on the whole identification thing, breaking the law by not showing his ID when asked, but he also took a joyride through the land of violating someone's constitutional rights. It's a head-scratcher how often this scenario unfolds, considering citizens practically have to turn into documentarians to shield themselves from these kinds of police shenanigans. The situation hit a warp speed when the officer dropped the bomb that the man was under arrest. Hold up, was it for having a flyer or for not playing the show me your license game when he didn't have to? Uh, look, how long have you been on the force? All right, sir, I'm asking you a question. You I'm asking you, now look, this is the way it goes, all right? No, no, I'm, I'm under arrest, right? Am I under arrest? No, you're being detained for investigation. To a person. All right, this, that's bullshit. It is an arrest. If I'm not free to go right now, it's an arrest. Now, you either Mirandize me or... Uh, detain, look it up in the dictionary. Detain right. and Miranda. Uh, detain and arrest is in the same sentence. Right. Go look it up. No, I don't know. I, yeah, I've already explained to you. We're past that. We're past that. Okay. Yeah, you go You go ahead and do that. That's your discretion, all right? That'll be a violation of my constitutional rights. By the time you take me to jail and, and my, take my vehicle, you're going to violate no less than four, okay. which is a $10,000 fine on you, and I can sue you personally, all right? Now, listen, this is the way it goes. I am under arrest, and if you if I'm not free to go, then I am under arrest. All right, so now you, I want you to show me. The cop just wouldn't let it go, continuing to argue with the citizen about flashing his ID. It was like the officer had selective amnesia about his duty to show that ID upon request. Did he mistakenly think he had the privilege to pick and choose when to follow the rules, confusing his responsibilities with the rights of citizens? The only thing he knew was to continue threatening the man that backup would come, as if the man would suddenly buckle under the pressure and surrender his rights by showing the coveted ID. Nice try, officer, but this man was unshaken. He even dropped the bombshell that he knew their commander had already had a chat with him at the station and that the commander was a decent human being, a far cry from the tyrants working under him. I don't know who you are. Okay, well, are you refusing to show me ID? Thank you so long for a second. Damn. Uh, your time starts. My time, you're on my time now. What county are you with? Rock County Police Department. Oh. 
You gonna identify yourself? You need to show me some ID right now. Yeah, you do. You're required to show it on demand. Show it to me. Do it now. I want to see a certified ID. I want to see a certified ID. Are you refusing to show me your ID? Are you refusing to show me your ID? Are you refusing to show me your ID? Uh, fine. Now you go right ahead. I hope you do. I've been through this before, brother. I've already been to the. I've already been to your fucking station, dude. I already talked to your captain. He's he's looked at my shit. In order for me to have a tag on this on this vehicle, I have to be in a. Fuck you, fucking pirate. Yeah, gotta go get the boss man, see what he's gonna do. With backup on the scene, who knows what tales the tyrant cop fed them. A fresh face stepped up, a new cop, and promptly informed the man that it was time to exit the car for an imminent arrest. Undeterred, the man raised his voice from within the vehicle, attempting to enlighten the law enforcement circus surrounding his car. It's like a broken record. Why is it that no cop seems to grasp the simple concept that they need to identify themselves first? This new cop attempted a counterattack, insisting the man needed to flash his ID as well. Hi, sir. I need to step out of the vehicle. Right, sir. Am I under arrest? Uh, as of right now, you are going to be under arrest. I need to step out of the vehicle. Why am I under arrest? Right, sir. I need to step out of the vehicle right now. You tell me why I'm under arrest. Sir. I've already explained to him. Right. I've already explained. You got ID? Where's the driver's license? I need you. All right, now you no, may contact you with me. Give me your driver's license. You are required to show me on you on are on demand. To show me your driver's license. You got to identify yourself, bro. Hey, buddy. Certified there state go. ID. There you go. Now, do it. There you go. And guess what? You are required to give me your driver's license. What makes you think I'm driving? Okay. You will just stop. What makes that, that does that make me driving just because I was stopped? Really? You don't know what really? driving means. Look it up. Drivers, operators, and travelers. Guess which one I am. The man then took it upon himself to enlighten the officer about another reason why he wasn't obligated to hand over his ID. See, he's not a professional driver, he's a traveler. Drivers are the ones making a living from driving, while this man is just on a journey. Now this abstract concept seems to float over these cops' heads as they continued accusing the man of refusing to show his ID. No matter how much the man tried to school the cops, it was like talking to a brick wall. The police officers just couldn't wrap their tiny heads around the idea that he wasn't refusing, but simply asserting his right not to do something. The situation took a serious turn when a swarm of police officers surrounded the man's car in large numbers. They were all on the same page, claiming that the man had to flash his driver's license because he was an American citizen. But the cops in the same country are seemingly oblivious to their own laws. It echoes the plight of the girl from the last video who had a better grasp of the law than the officers on duty. The cops, clearly agitated by the man's legal knowledge, acted as if it insulted their very existence. So what did they resort to? Threats, window-breaking theatrics, and the promise of an arrest. Yet the man stayed cool. He knew they wouldn't get away with it. What makes that, that does that make, make me driving just because I was stopped? Really? You don't know what really? driving means. Look it up. Drivers, operators, and travelers. Guess which one I am. What are you? Traveler. Traveler. Really? Look it up in the DMV, right up under drivers and operators. There's travelers, not required to have a driver's license. It's all commercial activity. I need your name. Sir, do you have a driver's license with the state of Georgia? Do you have a certified state ID? I need to see it. Do it now. Hey, you're not seeing anything. Well, you're required to by law. Show me ID, brother. I don't know who you are. You're in costume. Oh, you know who I am. I do not know who you are. Are you refusing to show me ID? Hey, it doesn't matter what I'm refusing. Uh, what you're refusing right now. I'm not refusing to do anything. I haven't, I haven't committed a crime. Look at this bullshit. Look at this. So, are you going to show us your driver's license? Look at this. We got them circling. I'm I'm surrounded by cops now. Hey, sir. Yeah, I'm going to tell you all this. Look, you're on live now, you hear? That's what, sir. So are you right here. That's good. All right. I'm invoking my rights and I'm not going to waver any by error or other. So you're not going to show us a driver's license? 
I need. Who are you? I'm not refusing. I'm not refusing. I need you to step over here and show me your certified ID like the rest of these guys. I need to see a state certified ID. I don't know who you are. Now, if you're going to make contact with me, you can must step over here. I'm not operating in any regulable activity. I'm not operating in a for hire capacity. I'm not operating in commerce. Do you understand that? Those are commercial activities. All right, so I need to set that vehicle right now where this window is going to be busted. I'll take you out of the vehicle. I hope so, you do. All right, so I need to do, uh, lower the window right now, or I'm going to walk out of the building. Out of the I'm invoking window. my rights, all right? All right, hey, sir, put your hand on the wheel. Why'd you have to bust both of them for? Well, I have a bad wrist. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. And here we go again with a familiar start to the tale. Just like the previous two encounters, this cop pulls over a man playing the seatbelt enforcer, and instead of a simple ticket, he dives headfirst into the routine of demanding the man's driver's license and ID. Will these cops ever catch on that it's not how the script is supposed to unfold? The man informs the officer that he's capturing every moment of their encounter on record. He also makes it clear that showing his driver's license isn't on the agenda, especially since he's not raking in cash from cruising on the roads, he's a freelance traveler, as he proudly declares. No crime, no ID, it's a simple equation. Following the well-worn path of his counterparts from the previous videos, the cop dials up for some backup. This man's skillful art of ignoring the police officer was nothing short of a comedy show. There he was, doing his own thing in his car, buried in paperwork like it was his personal sanctuary. Every time the cop attempted a conversation, the man skillfully waved him off, asking for a moment to continue his business. By the end of it, the cop was teetering on the brink of insanity. How could anyone possibly ignore such a towering figure in uniform? Undeterred, the officer laid it out for the man, claiming that they didn't have all the time in the world and urging him to swiftly produce his driver's license. Yet the man continued his blissful state of ignoring the officer's pleas. Do you have your license insurance on you, sir? I can look your insurance up if that's what you're trying to do. Well, um, actually, uh, for the record, sir, what's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Fritz, badge number seven. Do you have your license insurance on you? Sir, I need your license and insurance. Uh, sir, is this encounter being recorded? I need your license and insurance right now. Uh, sir, uh, what evidence or, uh, or information gave you probable cause to pull me over? You didn't have your seatbelt on. Okay. You didn't have your seatbelt on when I walked up in the vehicle either. Seven talk. Well, you start me another unit my way. My naughty's good. <clears throat> sure, you give me your license or you go to jail for obstruction. Oh, sir, uh, I'm not obstructing justice, sir. I'm just. Well, give me your license. I'm trying to get some information, sir. Hang on just a second. Just coming in route seven. Two eight talk. I'll advise I'm in route two. I'm going to ask you one more time, sir. Where's your license? Just a second, sir. I'm trying to find some information. Where's your license?
Where's your license at? No, I don't. Listen. <clears throat> we don't have all the time in the world, okay? Give me your license. I'll write you your ticket and get you on your way, okay? You were traveling on the roadway without your seatbelt on. That is a traffic violation. I was, not, I, was, I was engaged in my free ride. What? The man remained in his blissful state of ignoring the policeman, leaving the officer essentially talking to himself with every uttered word. Unfazed, the cop attempted to shake things up by warning the man that if he refused to cooperate, they'd resort to breaking his window and hauling him out of the car by force. However, the man, cool as a cucumber, wasn't feeling the fear. Chuckling, he seemed to be playing the waiting game, almost daring the cops to slip up and arrest him. He knew he had a clean record. When the officers pressed him to identify himself once again, he skillfully cited the Fourth Amendment, asserting his right not to reveal his identity unless he had committed a crime. The policeman, persistent as ever, argued that the man had committed a traffic violation. Well, technically true, but a traffic violation doesn't exactly fall into the category of a full-blown crime, now does it? The policeman granted the man one final opportunity to roll down the window before, in his words, they had to escalate and resort to extreme measures. Your name is what? Okay. Well, I'm just going to inform you because you're not cooperating with me and you have committed a traffic violation. We're going to have to use a window punch on your window to get you out. I'm warning you now, that's where we're at. Okay, I'm just informing you where we're going with this. Okay? I don't know how well it works. Is that a window punch? I don't know how well it works. I never used a warning. Anything and give it to oh, you. Wait, so From this point forward, yeah, please do not ask me to answer yeah. any questions or perform any form of test related to any matter <clears throat> whatsoever. Uh, Sir, I'm going to ask you again what is your name? I'm just going to warn you now that due to you not cooperating after committing a traffic violation that we're going to have to get it forcefully get into your vehicle okay so before we go to that extreme we're going to give you a chance to roll the window down and give us your license and insurance okay point forward I do not consent to providing you with any information or documents that could or will be used against me in a court of law or to possibly incriminate me. So please do not ask me to produce anything and give it to you. From this point forward please do not ask me to answer any questions or to perform any form of test relating to any matter whatsoever without my attorney present. Officer, badge number seven, do you intend to harm, injure, or punish me by any method of assault, arrest, and incarceration because I have invoked these fundamentally protected rights? So all I'm asking you to do is to roll your window down, give me your license and insurance verification. For the record, officer, badge number seven, no law is valid if it requires me in any way to waive any fundamentally protected rights in order to exercise. The police conveyed to the man that he would be arrested for obstructing the police. However, it became apparent from the conversation between the two policemen that their primary concern was the possibility that the man might be armed. It seemed rather implausible that a single individual could pose a threat to multiple armed and protected policemen. Nevertheless, the officer proceeded to shatter the man's window, even though he had assured them that he was not resisting. 
The officers, however, treated the situation as if they were confronting a bloodthirsty bear. They forcefully brought the man to the ground, handcuffed him, and conducted a search. Despite the unjust arrest, the man calmly reiterated his awareness of being arrested without cause and urged the officers to ease up, emphasizing that further violence was unnecessary. Allow to ask you for your license and insurance verification. Okay, and you are not cooperating right now. Therefore, we're going to have to forcefully enter your vehicle. He has a hammer. Well, you want to go hands on? We'll get on. We'll yeah, we'll go hands on. Sure he have a weapon tucked yeah. away. That's been my biggest concern. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He might have one tucked you where you can't see it. So as far as you uh, bust the window out. Yeah. And then we'll take care from yeah. there, and you kind of. Just yeah. I'm gonna go on. up. I'm gonna go up, and hit it, clean it real quick. You guys go hands okay, on. Okay, then we'll go from there. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, we're ready now. Uh. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not resisting. I just want you to know you guys are falsely imprisoning me. Get out. Get on the Get ground. Out. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stay down. I'm not going anywhere. Alright, we're gonna roll you over on your back, okay? Scoot back. Alright, stand up. Alright, I got a bad Alright. Put one knee up. There's one, two, three. Up. I got a bad knee. All right, let's go. Put him in my car. Seven <clears throat> Taco, you sitting next one up? Be black and colored.